Hi everyone, today I'm going to be making a very simple gluten-free focaccia bread. I warmed up my water, added some yeast and salt. Give that a good stir. We're going to let that proof for five minutes. I'm going to be using my KitchenAid mixer with a paddle to blend my focaccia bread. I started off by whisking together gluten-free flour, sorghum flour, xanthan gum, and salt. I'll put all the measurements and ingredients down below. Here you can see the yeast has been proofed because it's nice and puffy. I'm going to add the yeast mixture to the flour mixture along with a couple of beaten eggs at a room temperature, olive oil, and apple cider vinegar. And now I'm going to mix that with the pack. I mixed the dough on low speed for one minute, used a rubber spatula to scrape it down. Now I'm going to turn it on a medium high speed for two minutes. My dough has been mixing for two minutes. As you can see, the gluten-free dough is very sticky. I place my dough on a pizza pan that I put olive oil on it. Traditionally, a focaccia bread is shaped in a rectangle, but I like to make mine a circle. So make it any shape that you desire. And then I'm using a wet spatula to help spread out the dough. I spread my dough to the edges of the pan. If you want a thicker focaccia bread, then make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. Using my pastry brush, I'm going to spread it across the dough. I covered my dough loosely with some plastic wrap. Today is very cold, so our wood stove is cranking. I'm going to take my dough and let it rise by the wood stove. My dough's been rising for 45 minutes. Now I'm going to add some different herbs to the dough. When I made wheat-based focaccia bread, I could easily insert my fingers into the dough and it would not stick, but gluten-free dough is very sticky so I'm dipping my fingers into some extra virgin olive oil and I'm just putting my fingers right into the dough and as you can see it doesn't stick. So now this is ready to add my herbs and spices. I made this focaccia bread to go along with the turkey soup I made so I used rosemary, thyme, and parsley crushed fresh black pepper, and a little bit of sea salt. If I was making an Italian dinner, say I was making spaghetti sauce, lasagna, etc., I would put on garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, parsley, and Parmesan cheese. I'm now going to bake this in a preheated 425 degree oven. The focaccia bread took 25 minutes to bake. I'm now going to remove it and cool it on a wire rack. Here is my focaccia bread all sliced up. It's got a beautiful texture to it. Tonight I made a turkey soup. This will go along beautifully with the soup. Dinner served.